you're not. I was closing the window. <laughs> okay. Okay, nobody there. Sorry. Nobody there. Nobody side. Nobody We're coming. Don't go anywhere. We're sharing the live. So if you're doing anything for us right now, you are sharing, sharing, sharing. Okay. Guess what? It's time to cook. How you guys Go doing? Cook. Yeah, Ooh, I know. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Marlene McKinney and I live in the Bahamas. It's a rainy day here and I imagine the tourists are really upset. They're not going to get to go in the water today. It Aww. was a beautiful sunny day. And they normally would ask my dad, who happened to be a taxi yeah. driver, they'd ask him, Michelle, is the weather going to clear up today? And then my dad Aww. would say, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so hi, guys. I'm Marlene. Hi, I'm so happy to join you. Go ahead, Michelle. Hi, everyone. My name is Michelle Blackwell from Healthier Steps. And today, Marlene. McKinney from Something Better and I will be sharing amazing recipes using beans. They're budget-friendly recipes, so they're very economical and they're good for you. So we'll be talking and sharing each of us three recipes each. So you have yeah. six recipes that we'll be you'll be getting to share and you know prepare for your family that are economical. And I know that. It's hard out there, guys. A lot of people are seeing the price increases and they are scrambling and wondering, how can I sustain and keep up with what's going on and not mm. go under financially? And we're here to help you that you can make economical, cost-effective meals that doesn't cost a lot. And a lot of things even you can, some of them you can actually even grow some of the ingredients 
yourself. So mm -hmm. stay tuned mm -hmm. and watch. And before we do anything else, please stop what you're doing. Like wherever you are, like this video and also share the video with your friends and family because mm -hmm. sharing is caring. Share on Facebook. You can share in your WhatsApp groups. We really thank you for doing so because we need to get the word out that there is, you know, there is solution. There's a solution. You don't have to mm -hmm. buy all this. And just, you know, it's so expensive, Marlene. Are you seeing the price increase there in the Bahamas, Marlene? Tremendously. Went to the food store on Sunday and I asked the young lady twice, sweet girl, are you sure that's the price? She said, yes. I said, sweetie. I ain't wow. laughing and I ain't smiling. I said, I can't believe I'm spending two hundred and sixty something dollars because wow. I bought a bag of dog food and wow. fruits and vegetables. The prices were so enormous that oh, I wow. came home saying, "My dogs need a job, one that pays." <laughs> <laughs> and <Dead dogs>. um, <laughs> they need a job. I'm sorry, I'm to gonna, I'm gonna put them to work. <laughs> they need to go get a job because sister. <laughs> I mean, like seriously, <laughs> how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to expect it to be? I'm a single woman, and I have these two dogs now, three out back door. I don't know how to keep it going, you know. I so it's really high. Uh, Fifty-five pound bag of food used to be like forty-five, forty-seven, forty-nine. Now it's sixty some or whatever. Everything's gone. Up. Everything seems that. to be like, yeah. doubling. You know, yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, they need a job. If y'all know of a job, <laughs> they're for hire. <laughs> they can come to your house and protect you one night. I can take them yeah. one night. You take them one That's night. The next, the next day with you, then you feed them. And the next yeah. day with me, I feed them. You come bring a truck, they'll go with you there. They're happy. They're happy guys. That's good. That's yeah. Good. So that's a great idea. They're Hello. Protective. They're good dogs to protect for protection. Yeah. We have but the prices. The prices are very high. But prices are. are very high, and it's very discouraging because. You know, you're trying to tell people or teach people yeah. how to eat healthy. And they're like, well, the nuts are so expensive. And I know. And that's why today we're trying to do just beans. Um, mm. One of the recipes I have yesterday mm. calls for nuts, but you don't have to add nuts. It's yeah. um, a preference or a choice. Um, but just try to eat whole foods. The beans yeah. are like a savior. You can go here in the Bahamas to the wholesale co um, company. You can get like 20 pound bags of beans for like $20, a little over $20. So it's like a dollar a pound. And wow, um, so good. my recommendation is head on over to the wholesalers, call around before you do so you can save on gas because that's enormous too. <laughs> and um, that's the way we will save our lives because remember there are like four foods that they're saying we're going to have to gravitate towards because of the times that we're now living in the food being yeah. so expensive and beans is like top on the list and yeah. of course then we want to really just start growing our own food you know grow just grow as much as i have amazing. a small little thing going on on the porch i'm just nice. learning you growing, i'm a Marty? great sprouter i'm a great sprouter I'm, I'm, wow. i've never grown anything except flowers <laughs> so <laughs> so now i'm like i have to learn how to make create my own food you know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So that's this what I'm doing. Your garden right now. has just been flourishing, and yeah, you been, guys, y'all yeah. been y'all y'all doing it. I I am um, I'm not the gardener. My mother, the oh, gardener, she she yeah. rests, but I'm learning, and I'm willing You're to learn. Me. We all yeah, learn. We all learn. To learn. We all learn. Mm -hmm. We're just clear now, getting ready for a winter garden. We're literally, literally now we're planting cucumbers again. So we had so. Oh, well, I got cucumbers, cucumbers growing. I have yeah. cucumbers growing. Yeah. Bok choy cucumber. I got bok choy growing tea. too. Hello. <laughs> and I love me some bok choy. Yes. Me too. That's it. And that's it. That's it. I have nothing else growing. I planted, but they didn't sprout. So we'll see what right, happens. Right. We the just seeds. planted actually yesterday. Um, my you know my friend just planted. So. Uh huh. We're excited. I can't wait because. Very nice. Oh. It's it saves a lot when I can mm. go out and pick my herbs and uh, cucumbers and bell peppers, this onion, thyme, scallion, you name it. We mm. from the garden. I we have wow. to. And I love it. So I'm gonna encourage everyone in our audience to start to start a garden. Mm. Um, yeah. If you can, I know it's getting winter up northern climates where it's gonna get hot, but you can put it in a winter garden. You can grow. 
broccoli and cauliflower. And <laughs> we don't have any winter here. <laughs> and, yeah. We have no winter and in the Bahamas, girl. So winter. You just keep it going. <laughs> yeah, you keep it going. Now there are food, there are fruits and vegetables that will grow. Um, right. Seasonally. You know, it's a cooler time of year, but it's not winter like you right. know where I lived in New York and it was blazing snow and blasting yeah. that yeah but yeah no winter no winter praise nice. god yeah nice and but spinach have... marlene spinach uh -huh. oh yeah i have lots of spinach oh, lots of three, spinach growing we have three of these on three let Threli me see your leaves how big are they they're bigger wow oh, oh, they're, big. They're, they're big they're big they're big oh, they're lovely big. They're, big. they're big healthy wow I have, I have three trellises full so i really Mm -hmm. We need to start selling them too. I know. I That's know. Right. we have we have a fence full in the back of the yard. Yeah. I mean yeah. literal literally nice, a fence nice. full. A oh, whole I area love there. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love so it. if you're just joining us for the first time, what? I'm expecting a friend. Her name is Stephanie. Miss Stephanie, Stephanie, if you're there, say hi. You can you're wave. I invited her to know. It's my newest friend, Stephanie. She'll be the newest <laughs> member of our program called The Melt. The of melt. which I will Let's play. tell him about the melt. The melt. That's I would like to do that. You. I'd love to What's do that. The melt. <laughs> <laughs> well, the melt is a uh, wellness program. It's a virtual wellness program. Um, that actually. Oh, she's here! Hi, Stephanie. Hi. <laughs> now she nice has to leave in ten minutes, Stephanie. so we're gonna start cooking soon. She has to leave in ten minutes. To do to make a run. Let me share quickly the see you ad. Tomorrow, Stephanie. See you. Yeah, we'll see her tomorrow. Can't wait yeah. to meet her. Um, right. Yeah. So what happened is the melt yes. of the new program. Um, here we go. It is actually a program that really is devised to teach you how to eat healthy, how to get rid of the excess weight, how to get rid of high blood pressure, cholesterol issues. If you're borderline diabetic, this is the perfect per, per, um, program for you. Um, we meet each morning for uh, an hour and a half or two from five to seven, if you have that kind of time. But you can meet just for exercise or you can meet just for the health lecture. And then just recently this week, I decided I have some golden oldies in my class and they can't seem to do the workouts because of their knee injuries or back yeah. injuries. And, and so, so now I'm doing <laughs> sure. huh? Your cardio is intense, to be honest. It's intense. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now we're doing uh, chair exercise. <laughs> so I'm about to put up a shorts in two seconds. My phone is in use now because I'm on it. But I'm about to send a shorts out on chair exercise. Nice. No excuses. I don't care what your problem is. You can be in a wheelchair. Come on, for God's sake. Move those arms. Do something. Move. Come on. Move. Just move. So I'm going to play. Let me play it just quickly. I miss it. Right time to look good and feel good. It's challenge time. Get on board with certified health coach Marlene McKinney. Global $40 weight loss challenge. Enjoy vegan meal plans, clean eating, routine exercise with awesome WhatsApp group support. Get excited. Don't hesitate. Register, forward email address via WhatsApp to 242-535-6293 or Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. Don't forget to add your name as it appears on your bank card. What time is it? Life changing time. Join the challenge. Get on board. Uh, I'm going to play one of my exercise videos for you guys. It's just two seconds and then we're going to start cooking. I promise. Because um, Michelle said it's intense, Marlene. Be honest, it's intense. But you know, I love here's, I love here's the thing about it. You can pace yourself. Yes. It's your choice. When I'm running, walk. You don't have to do everything. Just walk. Just don't sit down. That's it. <laughs> Just don't sit up. You're not allowed to sit. What about unless you're in, hold what on. I, unless, you, unless you're in my class where you're sitting. Hello. Why you can lay down there. If you can't sit, can you lay down? <laughs> don't play. No, watch me. Watch me. Watch me in this child. Watch me in this child today. She thinks she thinks she she thinks she cute. She thinks she cute. She thinks she cute. Devin, she thinks she cute. Okay. <laughs> Let me share a video with you guys. You know, all day I'm spending either marketing this product because I know that this is a God-given product. 
So I'm spending I love it. hours a day uploading on our, my website something better today. Just I just love doing what I do. I love it. I will I will never go back to that shop. That's a no. nice place. <laughs> That's yeah, I can't do it. It's a pass. It's the pass. So I want to share a video good. with you guys. It was. It was good it while was it lasted. Good. It so good. I want to give you a great report. Here's the report. Guess what? Yeah. Something better. Something better. This melt program. Check this out. Check this out. It's a short, short clip. Progress matters, and we've been melting. Yes, we've been putting in the work, eating healthy, and the skills the numbers have been using. Both men and women have been training, and look at how well they've been doing. Together, we've lost 390 pounds. That's right. You can join us, too. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can sign up today. Amen. Amen. So I just I wanted it. you guys to see that. I did I that last it. night when I should have been sleeping. So today <laughs> I was like really behind. This one of my favorite because <laughs> I like this one. This one says hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Oh, I love that. Hard work. Hard work. work. <laughs> Hard work, work, hard work, that's what they say. Hard work, work hard work, go down. Earn my what? Hard work, work, hard work, do it every day. Hard work, I, work. <laughs> I love what I do. Hard and I do, work to go it's fun. Earn my pay. Hard work, 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 my boots on and lace them up. Hard work, work, got another day's of work. Hard work, work, hard work, that's what they say. Hard work, hard work. <laughs> I earn my pay. Oh, work, don't mind me. I got way too much energy. Hard work, work to go, make the call. Hard work, work. Bring it on the doors in the morning. Hard work, work. Get up, let's go to work. Hard work, work. Hard work. You bag your shoes. Hard work, work. Hard work. You load them up. I love it, Marty. Hard work, work. Hard so listen, guys, it, sign up it. today. Sign up today. You won't be disappointed. I promise you. No. Um, You won't be disappointed. That sounds good. My sister, Carlton Williams, good morning. Hi, or good Carlton. evening. Okay, so let's go to these How comments. You? That's he's your on? brother? Yeah, he's on. Is <laughs> it your brother? Friend. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, uh, Yasson. Yasson. He speaks Patois, so mostly. Oh. Oh. So you he said, him, not him, 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 him not understand me then. I love it, Marley. <laughs> him not understand me. Okay. Hello, Boniface, our brother. Hi, Angelique. Can we just go quickly down the list? Not rushing you guys. Hi, Celine. For coming up. My daughter, Celine, and Stephanie's here. And that hello is from Aldith. Hello, Aldith. We love you, Aldith. We love you all. And Carlton, yes, yes, yes. And someone no, says, I love no. it, Marlene. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Elvis, we are cooking. Oh, Ta -da. I'm doing gabonzos, and Michelle's doing? Black beans. Lots of so black let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Today. So that was just a commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> now, what we, we need you fun. to do, double the likes, double the love buttons, share, share, share. share let's double share. the amount of students we have in this class right now. Let's do that. All right. Yes. So I have three recipes. My three recipes today are I took $30 and I'm feeding a family of four for three dinners. A family of four, three lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it. A family for $30. That was my budget. And that's all we're spending. So oh. I took my garbanzos, I put it in the crock pot and I cooked it down. Well, this morning, you know, I did it last night. And this cost me $2.59. And we're making burgers. We're making curry. Mm -hmm. And we're making not tuna. Nice. Yum. yum. All right. Yum, so, yum, yum. Yeah. Who's that <laughs> saying I love it, Marlene? I got to find that name. Hold on. I love beans. Me too. Yes, we all love it. Yes, me understand you. You sound clean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I love Patois. It's, it's another language. It's another language. It is. It is. Yeah, it's another it language. Is. Michelle, it what is. are you cooking? Oh, it's Debbie. Oh. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Oh. Benoit. Yeah. Uh, I love chickpeas. Okay, so what? I'm doing black beans, and I'm doing black beans with pumpkin stew. So I'm doing a Ooh. pumpkin stew. 
And Yum. then I'm gonna do a black bean bur burrito. And then I'm gonna do a, like a salad, like a huge salad that has everything you can put in it. So if one day you're looking for a light dish, just do a black mm -hmm. bean salad. So nice. I love it. I wish yeah. I were her neighbor. That's the only problem. I could do some burritos right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so you wanna go one, two, three, and then I go one, two, three, that's fine. You can start. I can sit and listen and learn. It's your choice. It may be easier to follow if we do it that way, because you know, with six recipes, one hour, you go first. So you while are, you do while okay. you doing that, I'm gonna fry some plantain to go with my lunch. Oh, oh plantain Molly! Oh, I love plantain. <laughs> so don't get distracted with my part. Just follow what Michelle's doing. She's gonna teach you. I won't talk. I won't talk. I'll upload our comments. We love your comments. We need you guys. You're our family. And family we supposed to love each other. Right, so just share. Love, Thank you love, so much. love, love. All right, Benoit, Olive, 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 Olive. I may just shout a name in Miss That's it. Okay, I will not talk. Not you. I want you to really, I really want you to get the recipe. I really want you to understand what we're doing. So I don't gonna yeah. talk as much. I'm just gonna upload your comments, and then when Michelle's finished, and we'll talk a little more, then we'll get started with mine. Okay. All right. So please, <laughs> audio is horrible. It's okay. I don't need it. What audio? Whose audio? Whose audio is horrible? Is it mine? Oh no! Now I'm having a storm here. Gee, yours I is a... good. Can you hear me yeah. clearly, Marlene? Yes, I can. And I'm hearing it clear. Carlton says you everybody have loves. You camera unmuted. Um, Jean says. Oh, so... let's mute that. There we go. Let's mute. That's why. Okay. Yeah. It's okay, not, there we go. Now. But thank I had it you. muted. I have the computer muted. That's strange. Okay, thank you, Desire. Desire. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. So I'm gonna do this too, Marley. You don't have to add oil. You don't have to use oil. Just use water, because I'm gonna have coconut milk in it. So I really don't need oil. So you can make it oil free. Okay. And the first, what I'm gonna do is saute my veggies. I onion, garlic, green onion, thyme, and bell pepper. So I'm, I have all that night. Beautiful thyme from my garden. So this is the stew that you're cooking now? I'm doing the stew first. I'm getting it over. Mm -hmm. It's such a popular recipe on my website. I mean, this thing really? went viral for years. Wow. And it still is a popular recipe. The only is, that, is that the one with the pumpkin in there? Yeah. The only Man, that sounds good. I'm using pumpkin, pumpkin on my website. I have butternut squash. However, because I know most of my audience are used to pumpkin, we're mm -hmm. using pumpkin instead because, you know, everybody, Caribbean people, we do pumpkin. We don't do butternut squash. So mm -hmm. that's the only difference. And so let's get this going. So I am just basically going to saute my onion, garlic, bell pepper, and green onions. And that's colorful veggies, great for you because I love the fact that the garlic is good for strengthening your immune system. It is good yes. to prevent both, both onion and garlic. They have what you call the allicin in it, and they're mm -hmm. very good. They're anti-inflammatory. Also, the, this is antimicrobial, antiseptic, anti the, the thyme. So thyme is very good for you as well for building your immune system. <laughs> and I love green onion, and I... We grow Me green too. Onion, grow and grow and, you know, you know I where? Do you know where I learned to do? The, do you know where I learned about green onion? It was when I was a student in Jamaica. At, uh, in Jamaica uh, we, I mean, mm -hmm. a more dish we don't we cook yeah. with green onion. Everything, scallion. like scallion. everything, scallion. And everything. <laughs> you do. And Carlton says pumpkin and coconut is the boss for every pot. I know yes. he has me cracking up here. Thanks, Carlton. Pumpkin with coconut. So I'm really just talking them and um, easy recipe. So look at that, guys. Very easy, simple recipe. Oh, let I'm me move the comment. There garlic, thyme, scallion, or green onion, or spring onion, whatever you call it. They all work the same. And you're sauteing them. Like I mm. said, you don't have to saute them. Literally, I could have just used some coconut milk because I'm going to add coconut milk to the dish anyway. So I could have gone ahead and just go ahead and use the coconut milk to do the saute, as a matter of fact. That would have been better. 
because coconut milk has, you know, its own saturated fats, and but they're medium chain fatty acids, which are actually good for you. They're antifungal, so they're good for removing fungus from the body or thrush or whatever you call it, those kind of microbes. Literally easy recipe. And here is our bean. I, what I did was I cooked one pound of beans, and I'm using that one pound of beans in three recipes today. And so mm. here is only, I just use a cup of beans, a cup of cooked beans, and you can soak your beans, and then you cook it for 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the beans. If the beans is old, it's going to take longer. So all you do is add water to it until it cooks. Until it's, and sometimes black beans can really take long to cook. Boy, so, they have something else. I'm telling they are you. stubborn. They are very stubborn. My, friend, my cousin brought me some from Cuba. Let's Man, listen. I had a whole like twenty-five pound bike from Cuba, grown in Cuba. They were, they were awful. They're, they're they were, old. they just when I say awful, I don't mean like that. They just took forever to cook. They were good. They just took forever. They're yeah. probably old and dried out. So, but you know, if you put them in the crock pot, you kind of guarantee that they will be okay. They cook, and also and then, pot, slow cooking yeah, is yeah. very good. It's because it breaks yeah. down the beans. It's less gassy. When you cook your beans, Marley, in that crock pot. You don't get the gas that some people complain of because mm -hmm. it's I don't cooked. I, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Of course not. I've been eating beans a long time. I'm a very beany woman. <laughs> we, we've been eating, we both been eating beans for over 20 years, regular beans. I mean, all my life I've been eating beans because in Jamaica, every Sunday they make rice and peas. And I know peas and rice you guys make in the Bahamas. But it's a, it's a Sunday dish that we always have in Jamaica growing up and we eat stew peas all the time in Jamaica. So beans are a, in, an integral part of our diet as Jamaicans. So we always have beans. So my, they don't bother me. However, mm -hmm. if you are bothered by beans, mm -hmm. what you can do is start slow. You start yeah. slow. Yeah. That means you're going to eat a smaller amount than you normally mm -hmm. would. We talked yeah. about it the last time that we had a life. What you can also do is add certain things for the beans that will reduce yeah. the amount of gas. Make sure you right. soak it. I soak it and pour the water off. I know right. somebody said to me, oh, Michelle, when you're making your <laughs> rice and peas, you don't throw off that water that you soak the beans in. That's what gives it that pretty color. I explained to them, however, that soak thing has the gases that sometimes yeah. cause people to be gassy. Pour yeah. it off, rinse it, and start again. But if your stomach is strong enough, Go ahead and make, you know, make, you know, have a good time. I don't mind that, mm -hmm, oh, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can also add certain things in it, like ginger, fennel. You can add combo, K-O-M-B-U. It is a seed vegetable. It helps to reduce the gassiness. Mm -hmm. And I spoke about a herb last time. And yep, herb, wormwood. Yes, wormwood. And I found I have to find the pictures it? there. I, I remember I shared the picture last time. I don't know if I still yeah. have it on. I may have it here on the computer. I've just find it. Yes. So yes. hold on, Michelle. So there's a there's a oh, discrepancy nice. here. So Carlton said, Michelle, that looks oh. very nice and and nice. We don't call it green onions. What you call it? Is what you call scallion. Oh, you, scallion, scallion, scallion. Okay. In I was Jamaica, like, what's they it? Say scallion. They scallion. don't say green onion. So okay. so green onion because it's the part of the onion that. You can literally, like, what I do is Marlene. Whenever, mm -hmm. like, sometimes I buy bulk, which I still do. We buy bulk onions. Mm -hmm. Somehow I'm going through them fast enough now. However, in the past, when I didn't get to all my onions and they start sprouting, mm -hmm. I literally, come spring, I will literally go in the garden, cut the top off of that sprouting, put oh, it yes, in the garden. Oh, yes, yes, yes. that's my onion. That's my yes. green onion that I use. Actually, so that's what it. I should have been doing with my roots. I forgot I... Uh. Wait, ah! your what, Mom? Your what? Dude, I have some in my fridge, right? Yes. I'm so smart, guys. Oh, Lord. Carlton, don't call me no names. <laughs> I have it here. I should have cut them off and put them in my planters outside. Yeah. So that's what I need to... Yes. Oh, man. I do I'm all so... the time. Yeah. I Even like the onions, time. the onions, want the ones that are sprouting, I have them growing outside, too. So I have green onions growing outside. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, I Michelle, just outside, cook, and that's where I'm getting my green onions. We did not buy green onions all summer long because I had so much in the garden. 
we'll just wow. go out and cut whenever a recipe calls for green wow. onion. We literally wow. go outside and just cut. So Love the it. pumpkin now Love it. is Love the it. Caribbean pumpkin. We call it, it's like calab I forgot the name, calabaza or something like that. Ouch. It's the it's the variegated skin with a green and or sometimes it's orange skin too. But it's not the typical American pumpkin. However, the American pumpkin can be used in this recipe. Mm -hmm. Basically, any squash, those orange flesh squash. So you can use mm -hmm. acorn squash, butternut squash. You can use the Caribbean pumpkin. You can use um, whichever. There's so many of varieties of varieties, pumpkins out there yeah. that have yeah. orange flesh. Use them instead in this dish, and the dish will come out amazing. And, and they're loaded in vitamin A and beta carotene. Yes. Very good for cancer. Excellent yeah, Mar for cancer. Marlene, are you ready to do another recipe? Because while this is cooking, oh, yeah. want. my so, plant is ready. You guys want some? So let me look at those comments that came in because hey, we got some people who's yumming. Yum. <laughs> I love to tease my, my audience. That's not nice. So okay. Ostia says, I'm hungry. Miss Desri says she's hungry. Oh. Carlton says well, a, a one pot one things nowadays because <laughs> God wants me to eat simple exactly Carlton simple, that's it simple that's what we Ms. do here Miss Desi said I'm watching from work and I'm so hungry <laughs> some I am Marlene I love to add Italian seasoning so I love Italian oh seasoning. I love Italian um, I, I put Italian in everything <laughs> Yes. And if you don't have Italian food, make up your own, your time. Oh, the comments. There's so many you comments. Use oregano, mm. basil. Use them, grow them, and make your own Italian seasoning. So it's not hard I to put do. Them all in there. And then what I like to do is add a little onion powder and garlic powder. It's like you're making your own bouillon cube right there in the pot. You know, or if you have bullion cube or vegetable broth, you can use them. Or you make your own. We're trying to save money. So onion powder, garlic powder this summer, I dehydrated and made my own <laughs> onion powder and garlic powder because I had so much. When you grow them, you can dehydrate them and ground them up when they're dry and make uh -huh. your own seasoning. So, you know, I want to encourage you to do a lot of stuff from scratch, you know? Yes. And yes. it will save a lot of money. And look at this. This dish is all simple using mm -hmm. black it looks beans. looks good. Pumpkin, I love black beans. And a lot of seasonings, you know, your onion, your garlic, what was that word thing? Paprika? Pap <laughs> what pepper. was it? Cayenne pepper. That's a lot. Woo! Hey, Carlton, that's going to be hot, hot, hot. Woo! Carlton says, Michelle, dear Michelle, you want to put some bay leaf and parsley in that stew, you know? And some sweet oh, potato. Man. Carlton, why you go? You see, he's a chef. Carlton is a chef. So you see, oh. in my pot. Carlton, come on, on my pot. <laughs> 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 but Hi, yes, David. Bay leaf would be nice uh -huh. and parsley yeah. would be nice. I yes. got some here. You want to borrow it? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot. I mean, I, I do have it's a good. lot of bay leaf, and, but Carter <laughs> needs to come out of my pot, eh? Carter he's a, he's a, you need a dash. Say, what is he? Oh, no, you gotta read this one. You need to dash more the water, more water, <laughs> what's up the bean in, Carter, and kill you. Uh, Carlton, you have to come on the show and read that for me. I'm not understand. You know, oh I'm not doing <laughs> I don't, I, 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 I don't read it. See, I'm putting read it. Read, read that one. Leaf. You need to dash away dash away the water. That's it. You need to it's dash away the water. Well, so <laughs> the bean, it I'm will kill you and milk? meet up with that indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> what he said? What he said? <laughs> you need to dash away the water you soak the bean in. <laughs> I do. I throw away my water. And I'm doing yeah. some parsley too. Okay, Carton? So we have that parsley. I put bay leaf. I put some basil. And That's fresh good. basil. Just, and the milk, you know, just the coconut milk, you know? Just the coconut milk. And just the coconut milk. We're gonna give, um, this is an amazing recipe. I love and when it. when we're finished then, when it's cooked, then I'll just drop the spinach, let them cook for about a couple minutes. Yeah, because the spinach don't take long at all. No, Do you cut the spinach long. up before you put it in? I'm going to chop them up and sprinkle yeah. them on top. Thank you, Carlton. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> okay, ready. awesome. So you want me to go on to the next recipe? So or you, you can continue? The next. Okay, so we're, we're doing, um, we have a lot of comments I left off at uh, Angelique. Where? I'm at Angelique. Angelique, Angelique. Yeah, Angelique. so... This recipe, what I'm doing, is very common to me. I've been doing this for a long time. I've shared it in my groups, but 
it's my favorite bean recipe. Can I just get away from that? No. So I have in my bowl, I have my bell peppers. I have a piece of tomato because I didn't think I'd find the tomato paste, but I found something else. I have some garlic and I have lots of onions, right? And I forgot to turn on my stove. <laughs> I turned it off because it was going to get too hot. So then I have those there. Sorry. And I'm not going to add any time or anything to that. I'm going to just turn that up high. Okay, so what I love most about beans that Michelle already shared is one, it has lots of fiber. Two, it has lots of protein. Three, it's inexpensive. It's cheap. Four, it's very satisfying, very filling, very slimming, very much helps us to get the waste out of our system yes. very easily. I love that. Um, love also, it. what I like is you take one by the beans, put it in your slow cooker or cook it in the pot, and you get three and a half tins. So from this one bag of beans, I got two, four, six cups of, of beans, literally one bag. When you go to the food store, and we can almost compare. I don't think I have, no, I don't have one today. Normally I have a backup just in case I want it. But check that out. This is $2.59, right? But listen, right. suppose I went to the store and I bought the beans in the tin. I probably spent $2.89 for one and a half cup. Do you understand the value of purchasing this bean when it's in its raw stage? That's the value. So I would advise you if you live in the Bahamas, Go to the wholesale company. I have a friend down there. Her name is Natasha. Ask for Tasha. Tasha will hook you up. She'll give you all the beans. I think they're like 20. When I used to buy them in bulk for my store, it was $20 for 20 pounds. I don't imagine it went up that much more, but buy several of them. Buy the variety of them. Get a freezer or an extra refrigerator. Have them in the store. Store them in there. If you don't store them, you know what's going to happen, right? The weevil will take over. So in my, in my pan, in my pan, I have my... Um, my vegetable, my herbs cooking. So I have my tomato. Can you see in there? Ooh, you can't see the cup. We haven't put, uh, hold on. You can't see because the comment, even then you can't see. Hey, let me see if I can take it. That's a little closer. You won't see me as much, but that's okay. Ah, there you go. Beautiful. I'll just, I'll just bend down. I'll squat. <laughs> I'll squat. All right. So good. So I have those cooking. I'm going to cover them back. I just wanted you to see what was in there. I'm going to let them cook. And then I'm going to grab my blender. And in my blender, I am going to put my beans. Now, suppose you don't have a blender. That's fine. You can mash them, can't you? You can mash them. Get a masher. Or better yet, get a fork and just mash, right? Just mash them. So I'll put that there because I'm going to use it in another recipe. But in my blender, I am going to put my beans. I'm going to put two tablespoons of oil. All right. I'm using olive oil today because the olive oil helps with so many ailments. It's great for, did you know that olive oil was good for, uh, as a laxative? It sure is. So I'm putting my gabonzo beans in my blender. All right. Good stuff. How many, how many grams of fiber in one? cup of gabonzos who can give me that answer today anybody somebody yeah and then i'm going to put my coconut milk this is a cup full i don't need half a yeah. cup okay about half a cup of coconut milk good nice and i'll rest that around there and then when these are cooked but i'm going to pretend that they are i usually add my tomato paste to this so i'm going to do that now I let them cook down uh, like totally before I start adding things like that. But what the whole point of this is, it caramelizes. And nice. when, when vegetables caramelize, it tastes better. It intensifies the taste. It's kind of like a sweet roast, you know? So we want to do that. Just stir them, let them cook a little more. And then I'm going to add them right to my, um, my, my blender. And we're going to blend them out. This Marlene. burger. Yes. All this time I've been talking to you, I was muted. So there are 10 grams of fiber in one cup of chickpeas. That's a what? whole lot of fiber. Hold on. Hold on. How many, how many grams of fiber do we need a day? I know. Because we don't count calories. It might cook on the melt. 
when I was 19, 20, 21, and I was in college, I was counting calories. We don't count calories anymore. We count fiber. All right? Ooh. It smells amazing, guys. You should, you should have been here. Smell of vision. Woo! Smell it smells vision. amazing. Like Smell of vision. Woo! Catch the vision. Catch the glimpse of the vision. This smells amazing, okay? This smells... Look at that. Can you see it? I love it. smells it. great. So then I'm going to put this into my blender. Do you know why? Because I'm horrible, horrible at cutting up onions and stuff. My onions are always big as my head, Carlton. Awesome. <laughs> Y'all don't want no burgers with these. Look at them. But in truth, I do cook them down like that because I want them to... Um, the truth is, I want them to caramelize a bit so it, it yeah. can intensify the taste. Nice. It tastes better. To be honest, it tastes far better. All right. All right. Molly, lots of comments coming in. Car Carton said he likes how we cook and that the things that God gave us to eat. If people eat this, the doctor no make any money. Not a dollar. Not, Not one. Not a dollar. <laughs> Not one. What a powerful statement, huh? I love that. That's a powerful <laughs> statement. I love that. And then I... This is the only recipe where I will add some nuts. So I have some almonds. You can use almonds. You can use pecans. You can use cashews. Whatever nuts you want. Or yeah. just add an extra tablespoon of oil. Simple. You don't have okay. to use the nuts. Okay? If you can't afford the nuts, because I know I was speaking to someone earlier, and they were like, you know, these things are so costly. There again. You don't if you live in the Bahamas, you don't. No, just cut it out because it's expensive. Not yeah. only that, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are what? You want to make certain that you just have a little anyhow. But the nuts just add more protein, it adds more fiber, it adds yeah. more, you know, that's what it does. It beef, beefs up on that. So I'm going to blend this. Then I'm going to pour that into my bowl. Let me see if I can get rid of the skillet. Oops. Put it right there. All right. I am going to add to this, I'm going to add to this some Italian seasoning because I happen to love Italian seasoning. It has such beautiful flavors and there's no salt in there. It has such a burst of flavors yes, in there. Yes, I love it. So I'm going to just, I'm going to mute for a second and I'm going to blend, okay? Right. I'm going to mute. Oh, you can mute, you can mute me. Can you mute me? Mute Marlene and put me Yeah, mute Marlene. me. I'm going to blend like until it's and nice and smooth. And then I'm going to, add, uh, here's what we're going to do. When we come back, I'm going to pour my mix into that. And all you have to remember is this. When you're making this recipe, all you have to remember is it's equal parts oats to equal parts bean. So if you have a cup of beans, it's a cup of oats. It's that simple. Is that hard? No, it's really easy. So mute me a second. All right. Well, while Marlene is muted, um, put the overhead on. All right. So look at these spinach from my garden, guys. You see how huge they are? These are spinach. They're like Malabar spinach, and they're really huge. And look out for when Marlene is finished. And all I'm going to do is chop them up and add them to my stew. Gonna, because the spinach is good. They have iron. They have protein. They have calcium, magnesium, phosphorus. They're good for your bones. They're good for building good blood. And they are super nutritious. They're powerhouse. That's why Popeye loved his spinach. All right. Okay. This is for that, G. I'm not finished. So you're good. You can switch back. Is Marley ready? She's ready? We're good. We're good. So, so we're going to turn this back on now, G. <laughs> I need to see this. I'm just coming. It's okay. Or I think it's Marlene back. I think she's. I'm back. I'm back. He's back. He's back. Okay. So I then I pour this. I pour this. You can see it into my bowl. All right. I pour this into my bowl. And of course, we have to season. And the reason we cook around this time is because it's lunchtime for me. And I don't want to be, I don't want to make, I want to make sure that the burger tastes good. Now, I could guesstimate how much salt I need without tasting it. But I like to be sure. All right. Thank you. Put it in. Let it cook a few minutes. So I'm going to pour this in. So in my blender, I have my garbanzo beans. I have my coconut milk. I have a little olive oil. I have my Italian seasoning. And I'm going to add an, an um, coconut milk, olive oil, beans, and of course my caramelized herbs. Right. Awesome. 
And I can't afford to leave none there, so let me put some water up in there. Because, child, is in here. Things tough. Hey, things tough, child. Things tough. Things tough. No, this is the reality, you know. This is our new reality. And we have to learn to adapt, right? Absolutely. Because things are going to get tougher and tougher. So that is why for the past two weeks, we've just been teaching you how to use beans for food. And I hope and pray that you guys have appreciated it. I really do. All right. Now, for my seasonings, I am going to add a little more. Oops. Sorry. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. At least that much will be needed in there because there's no seasoning in there. I am going to add in this today. I don't normally. I've stopped using brags, but I'm going to add about a tablespoon of brags and some more garlic because garlic is like heaven, eh? Everything tastes better with garlic except for dessert. <laughs> and I got to put some of my sidekick in there. Woohoo! Got to have some sidekick. This is, this is a spicy chickpea burger. You got it? It's spicy. All right. <laughs> Let me just stir that. And then I'm going to show you how I get these onto my tray without even getting it onto my hands. Now, I have never tried frying these. People, I'm sure somebody's going to ask me, can I fry them instead of bake them? A slow fry, I guess. Why not? But I'm not one to stand up around a stove frying anything. That's never my desire. Never, ever. Let me taste it to make sure it's on point. Not bad. That tastes pretty yum, good. Yum, yum. I love it. Now, I'm not going to eat a whole lot of it because we know that we should not eat anything, any grain uncooked. Just a pinch. Yeah, a lot of comments. Lots of comments. All right. So then all we do, we take our baking sheet. And if you have some parchment paper, you can line it with parchment paper. I need to remember to get some when I go to the store again. Otherwise, I just take my spray. I spray it. Honestly, I'm not kidding, guys. This is my favorite burger. It's my favorite burger. And I've operated a vegetarian deli for eight years. And this was my customer's favorite. No joke. The customer's favorite was this. All right. And that is absolutely the truth. All right. So then I take a balls cover jar like this. If you don't have one and you have like a plastic cup that you can use over and over and over again, just cut off the rim. I put it there. Grab a smaller spoon. And I spoon it in. Okay. So while okay. Michelle is cooking, I'm going to... Um, um, while she's cooking our next dish, I'll just put these on and I'll oh, light okay. the oven up, put them in the oven so they can be ready, hopefully, by the end of our session today. Okay. All right? Jeans, you can come back on. And okay. how long do you bake it for? I bake it at 350, 350 degrees, first side about 20 minutes, 20 to 25. You want to make sure when, when it's done, let me show you something. You get your spatula, and if you could turn it easily, then you mash it, and you get a bigger burger. But you want to make sure that it's coming up easily from that side, okay? All so right. Go ahead, Before Michelle. you go, Marlon, there are some questions here and oh, comments sorry. for yeah. you. Um, so, um, John Claude says this looks appetizing. Carton says, "Oh no, no, no! Wait, wait! I'm done." It, Carton wants us to bake bread one day. Oh, um, that's nice. Also, we can do bread. He was asking what were you making and he said mm -hmm. one pot and coconut juice is good i guess he's saying uh marlene you need some turmeric and sage in that <laughs> i could do the sage i don't need turmeric why do i need turmeric why are you all up in my pot all right i'll put some turmeric i will you know why i'm gonna put the turmeric because it's great for inflammation why not and it doesn't have any taste like that okay <laughs> next um, hold on but my italian had sage sweet boy yeah oh. <laughs> and then <laughs> nature's best herbal wisdom good morning why have you stopped using brands oh jeez y'all really want to go there <laughs> good afternoon marlene and michelle <laughs> yeah oh, i don't we don't we don't use it like that anymore because Sometimes. i still i mean i'm still on my it depends sometimes. on the recipe it depends on the yeah. recipe 
but um, we don't use it like that because in our studies, we have found that the brides is as it, it's what's it called? Um, excitotoxins. Excitotoxins. Yeah. So that's the reason. Did I add enough? Hundred percent. Is it? Did I add enough turmeric, Carlton? I can put some more, you know. I'm gonna put some more. Come on, you put it more. Let me tell you why. Because I have inflammation in one of my fingers, so I, I, think, I, I value that. I value that. Yeah, I value that. And I love. I mean, I love turmeric. I love that curry flavor in anything. And because yeah. it's so highly seasoned, your your burger, it, the brag's going to make it, take it to another level. I mean, the curry. Tumor. Tumor. The, the curry, the yeah. Tumor. It's going to yeah. take it to another level. It's still going to taste good. And it's then good. I freeze these. Like curry chickpeas. <laughs> curry chickpeas. It, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I freeze them. I put them in plastic bags and I freeze them. I yes. literally freeze them. And I have them for a long time. As a matter of fact, I have a customer, he may be watching, who asked me if my shades were, my glasses were shades. He said, they're so big. I said, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> I pay for them. <laughs> he buys them. What he does, he orders them. As a matter of fact, I will probably likely just sell these to him, to be very honest. And he buys them, and then he has them enough for like several weeks. Nice, um, nice. He'll buy, he'll get a stack of this and a stack of the black bean. Oh, nice. He says it's his favorite burger. Yeah. All right. Let me wash my hands. And I'm going to come again. I'm going to do a salad next, Marley, because it's so easy. I'm just That's showing fine. you that sometimes you can do a hearty salad and mm -hmm. call it a day. You know, if you don't want that heavy meal, sometimes mm -hmm. you can just do a big, huge salad. And yep. um, I agree. Yeah. So while you're doing the burgers, I can jump on the salad. And what I'm using is romaine lettuce. And I'm going to just literally, okay. All right. Now, listen now. Hey, before you even get started, look at how much I got from one and a half cups of Can you imagine? beans. This one is more than enough for a family of four. This can take them for another two days. Hello? Don't I'm tell me that vegetarian eating is expensive because it's not. It is not. It is not. It's the processed ones are like the processed food is what yeah. will yeah. rack up your bill. Yeah. So if you're of not course. doing all the processed food, then it, exactly. it's not expensive. Exactly. So come on, people, learn how to do this stuff. That's why Michelle and I are here every Tuesday teaching you how to make your own, so that you don't have to be purchasing the processed foods. Yeah. There's no. Don't I don't believe, like Michelle can tell you guys. I don't do the excuses. I, I'm just yeah. that kind of person. No I've always been that kind. Mm -mm. None too many excuses. We are no, too lame. Forever. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this, people. Go on, Michelle. Cook while I do this. Right, so Let me turn on my oven. This is just a salad, and all I'm literally doing is cutting up um, romaine lettuce. I like romaine or darker, leafy. I don't do... I can't tell. I don't do iceberg. Iceberg no. really just... It's, it's, I'm hardly any nutrients in it. You're a little mm -hmm. bit in for water. And mm -hmm. so romaine lettuce has a lot more nutrients. So I go for the any dark green. I could do green leaf or red leaf or romaine. Those are my favorite. And literally for this salad, I'm literally, you can, can you see the bowl? I'm just putting, because mm -hmm. this is going to be a hearty salad that you can either use at a side dish or you can literally put it in burritos or eat it. You can just add some protein to it. Like you could add chickpeas to it. And you have a meal. So I have red onions that I'm gonna add some red onions to it. And if it you don't so like pretty. red onions, um, you can leave it out. Just leave out whatever ingredients that you don't like. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do some sweet corn. And these are organic corn, non-GMO. And I'm literally you grow them corn. also. You grow them also. No, I don't go. Oh. I just buy them from. But Whole Foods. my my niece oh, my just brought God. me two plants yesterday. Yeah. So I'm gonna corn. I don't. No, she okay, brought me cane. I'm adding some <laughs> tomato, cherry, cherry tomatoes. Two, six, nine, twelve. We got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen burgers from one and a half cups oh, of wow, flour. Oh wow! That's of, amazing. Of, of, yeah, come on. Then I'm adding my black beans. So here's your protein. 
So these are the cooked black beans, and you can just add some cumin to it, some salt. You can season them. Uh, it's just a, a little cumin and salt and oregano oil, and that's all you need in it to give it some flavor. Mm. And then I'm going to add some bell pepper. All right. And I'm going to add me some green onion. You're right. You're right. All right. And cilantro. All right. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is mix it now. And, oh, there's some avocado. I'm not sure. No, avocado is very risky because I'm going to open this avocado. However, I'm not sure. If this avocado is how are the avocados? Okay, let's see. I don't know about You're this. You're not avocado. sure if it's spoiled, yeah, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's kosher. So yeah. not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'm surprised. And that's a very beautiful salad. Very, very pretty. Very beautiful salad. And very pretty. Literally. This can serve a, a large family because mm -hmm. you get a lot out of this. And I mean, you can double, triple, whatever you want. But there it is, um, avocado. And what you can do now, you can make a dressing for this. So it's up to you what kind of dressing you create for this dish. You can do lemon. Carlton was asking, um, why do people put citrus in salad? That's what he was asking just now. Who asked that? Carlton. Because the citrus, the vitamin C with, uh, with the green, leafy vegetable, the iron will is better for digestion. Mm -hmm. It'll help it'll improve digestion. Amen. So, literally, just do, you can do olive oil, garlic, a little lemon juice, and salt. And you stir this up, and you have a, a dish right here. That's it. So, olive oil. Wait, you have any, let me see what. Where's the olive oil? This is. Oh, this one is oil. And you don't even have to add the oil because the avocado has enough fat. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, Marlene, I know you just like olive oil and some salt. I don't do the olive oil. I actually just use lemon and lemon or salt. lime lemon. with salt. That's it yeah. for me. I've gotten to that place. Hey, I couldn't do that before. It's just now that I'm getting so good at just doing those things. I always right. thought my salad had to have some dress on it. Right. Like, I was like, naked? I don't want her naked. I want her dressings on there. You know? But now I'm like, no, I'm, I'm good. It tastes really good. Just, so I'm just adding that. That looks really good. It's so pretty. The pretty, corn, the bland, oh, it's beautiful. And it's healthy, healthy for you. Yeah, it's beautiful. And some salt, a little sprinkle of salt, and that's it. You've got to... Looks oh, amazing. Looks, my water bottle fell. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and a little sprinkle of salt. That's a little, not a lot. That's it. And this is a... There you go. And that's a... Huge salad, and that's it. All right. All right. I Let me read some of the comments, and then we'll go into our next recipe. All right. So, let's see. The comments are beautiful. We love you guys. Thank you so much for sharing your views, your thoughts with us. Um, I like this one. <laughs> I like all comments, but this one is so true. Carlton says people who say vegetarian food is dear or expensive because people don't know how to cook it. And that's the truth. All right. That's true. That's why we're here, Carlton. So because you're a chef, one day you join us and that'd be a Bahamian, Jamaican, Jamaican American. <laughs> I just put Michelle in the category of Jamaican American. Yeah. So let's do that one day. Um, Edward says, love it, love it. Edward, you, you pick it up my language, love it. Uh, Carlton says, why people use citrus? We got the one already. Me plant corn, you plant corn, is corn you plant tea. All right, all right. You plant everything. 
<laughs> really beautiful. Yeah. He said that salad would be nice with rice and gonga peas, boy. Listen, we are so right. Out here, full of avocado. Listen, listen. Across the street from me, literally, my neighbor has maybe a hundred avocados on a tree. No joke, Michelle. And yeah. every day I open avocado? the door, all I see is the yes. Oh, what? Like a hundred. <laughs> like green gold. Hello. Wow. Hi, so dear. Yeah. Y yes, it is. And your friend from Pakistan says, hi, dear. How are you? Hi, Kareem. Uh, I mean, I mean. And then Carlton yes. says, people don't like to eat vegetables and bitters and mm. drink water. That's why people are sick. Carlton, man, come on. Uh, you want me to send that link? Are you, we could send that link anytime you're ready. He says he's, 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 he's preaching. He's ready? He's preaching. Is he ready? I can send no, no, the link now. Not, 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 and I, oh, yeah. <laughs> hi, Sherry. Sherry well, says Carlton, you're Carlton, want to come on? I'm asking him, but he's not answering yet. <laughs> you right. come on you come on right on the live really Carlton come on let's yeah. do it I'm ready I'll send the link Michelle has the link she'll send it to you I don't have your um contact which Michelle does awesome yeah. okay honestly on a very serious note we will send the link <laughs> Sherry yeah. says hi there my two besties lovely ladies hi, how are Sherry. you so hi. I'm using the same skillet I'm putting just a touch of olive oil because I want to um cook down my ingredients for my next recipe. So here are some of my burgers I had in my bag in the freezer. You see them? I have like five of them left. Every trip I take, everywhere I go, I take these burgers. <laughs> All right? I'll put them back because we're baking ours now. Everywhere I go, I bake those burgers. Everywhere I take them. Everywhere. So here we go. Our next dish will take a few more moments because we have to cook down the potatoes, but I just wanted to get started. So it's a curry garbanzo. Everybody knows about curry garbanzo. And Michelle and Marlene come to Jamaica because every Seventh-day Adventist locked down their restaurant. What? Michelle, you heard that? So in my skillet. Huh? What did you say? He said we should come to Jamaica because every Seventh Day Adventist uh, restaurant is locked down. What? Really? That's terrible. That's I can't foolish. understand. That's what's going on down there. I don't know. The really? Carlton, my days of restauranting is over. All right. So I have my onions, my bell peppers, and my scallion. I said it right. My scallion because I love yeah. me some scallion. scallion. And I am going to add to that. My turmeric, I have a little coriander, and I have a little cumin. So I'm making my own curry powder. I could probably add just a little more of the turmeric, to be very honest. I didn't think I added enough earlier. There we go. I did not add very much of the um, cumin. You can go to my website to find this recipe. And I am going to add some grated um, ginger to this. In about a minute or so. Then I have my potatoes, which have been in water. Let's get rid of the water. I'm going to add them to my skillet. So I have my onions. <laughs> I got my onions, my bell peppers, my scallion and my potatoes with my turmeric, my cumin, and my coriander in the pot. So I'm gonna let that cook down. I'm gonna let that simmer a little. And I'm going to add a little pinch of my ginger because the ginger makes it taste better, all right? All right. I'm just gonna grate it out over there. Hi, Miss Gordon. She says the vitamin C helps in the efficient oh. absorption of iron in the body. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, Carlton said that fried food mash up the liver. Most yeah. food and steam the food yeah. or boil. 
Exactly. You're right. You're right. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna let that cook down. I wanna intend I want to cook down the seasonings first and then I'm gonna add a little more water so that they can um get those flavors going. So while that's doing, what I'm going to do for you guys. Right. What do you say? You say you don't <laughs> understand the post. Me mean if the two of you come out to maybe to them be them restaurant would lock. Oh, we'd make their restaurants lock down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> boy. Hey. He said oh, the boy. Hey. come to Jamaica will will cause all the the restaurants down there to close to shut. I am I'm following him now. <laughs> I'm following him now. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, well, very... we wouldn't want them to. We wouldn't want them to shut down. No, we don't want that. No. But we get what you're saying. The yes, so most good. definitely. The food is so good and it's healthy, you know? People are going to eat it and they're going to feel the difference. Yes. And yes. they're going to want to keep coming back and back. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what we really want, you know? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So that's while yes. that's cooking down. I was just thinking, why don't I just do the third recipe? One second. Let's check that pot. Okay, Ooh, that looks good. That looks it's good beautiful. Martin. It is gorgeous. You could just have curry potatoes. You don't even have to have the beans, guys. Potatoes have protein too. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Boy, this smells amazing. The little touch of ginger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Brittany says. Looks delicious already. I know, right? <laughs> yes, I know Ooh, about curry gabanzos. Yeah, everybody knows curry gabanzos. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows curry gabanzos. Oh, yeah. But we're just oh, trying yeah. to prove a point. The point is, we can get three meals under $30 for a family of four from one bag of beans. That's yeah, the point of today. Why? Not everybody knows curry gabanzos. There are many people who have never had curry gabanzos. Many I know. people, even right but on this live with us. So not everybody that smells knows. amazing. Before, huh? before, before I made it, jeans. I mean, he doesn't even like garbanzo that much. But curry gum, he didn't know about it. Really? No, not everybody knows. A lot of people never even heard of Indian food. Not everywhere everybody knows Indian cooking or Caribbean cooking. So we can't assume. No. We can never assume. Never. We shouldn't. Hey, we cooking, shouldn't. I don't. I just put this stuff out and you'll be amazed. I used to think <laughs> when I first started. Everybody knows uh -huh. how to, to cook rice. Everybody knows how to do these basic stuff. And That's then not I true. That it's mm -mm. not true. You can never assume. Mm -mm. There are many mm -mm. people here that never had it. Nope. Any of these recipes. Never even That's right. beans. Nope. No people have never had beans. Never. I know. I know. I know. You know, Marlene, people who are paleo, they hate beans. They hate beans. They think beans is a curse. <laughs> who is this? Paleo. People on the paleo Oh, paleo wow. Diet. That's true. That's true. They eat only meat and vegetables and stuff like that. They don't eat um, beans. They think that beans are, are, they have nutrients that are bad for the whole system when it's the opposite. It's actually beans are the best food that you can eat because every society every place in the world that the people live to be over 100 every one of them they thrive on beans beans will make you live longer they're anti-aging exactly. they mm -hmm. cause you to live long so if so it's actually opposite and if you eat a lot of meat most people on a meat eating heavy meat they die sooner the cholesterol <laughs> Heart disease. <laughs> Think about it. Number one killer. So yeah. beans are your best friend. They're actually good for your heart. They're heart healthy. Yeah. They're good. They're good. They have good fiber. No yes. cholesterol. Yeah. Zero cholesterol. Good That's for right. your bowels. Good mm -hmm. for building all that friendly gut bacteria. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So they're actually super good for you. They have protein, bioavailable protein, and they are good for you. The opposite. Exactly. They have anthocyanins in them. 
Yeah. And all but, uh, that polyphenols, that's all powerful. that for your body. And that accident. is powerful. That's Prevent powerful. Prevent cancer. Beans. Yeah. Beans. That's powerful. Praise God. Praise God. So and yet people yours. don't want them. Enough. Yeah. Oh, more comments, Marlene. I see. Nice. All kinds of beautiful Thank comments. You guys today. You're really interactive and I love it. I love all your amazing comments. Carlton, boy. <laughs> I, I, see that. Hey, Carlton, I see that. Carlton, I see that. You've been missed. <laughs> we haven't heard Carl, Carlton. Carlton will get us in trouble. Carlton will get us in trouble. <laughs> Carlton. <laughs> he said he eats like a cow. He likes anything green. Amen. Okay. He said a lot of people in Jamaica only are familiar with red beans. You see that? Beans. You see that? Trinity beans. He said, it's just true. And they, they know Gungo too. Carlton, remember, I'm Jamaican. We know Gungo peas and we know cow peas. I grew up on Gungo, kidney, and cow peas. Mm. Am I right? And mm -hmm. butter beans too, Carlton. So you, you kind of you kind of <laughs> pushing it. I grew up on butter beans. That was, you never made your ox day without butter beans. And we had cow peas too. And so, yeah, we had, we had about, what, four beans. But nowadays, in Jamaica, you can find black beans. You can find chickpeas. When I go there, I was surprised. I'm like, whoa, everything that we have here, we can find it there in the supermarket. Which, which, which beans do you grow there? Cow peas, kidney beans, gungo peas, or guandul, gandules, or they call mm -hmm. it pigeon peas. We mm -hmm. grow those there. And I think we do probably more than likely the butter beans too. We probably yeah. would grow that. And that would be lima beans, same family. Beautiful. Your lima beans. So yeah, Beautiful. we're not that. It's not that bad. What it is, <laughs> but we kind of just use the same. You know, when you you notice with certain culture, if they stick to they, and the, the people are afraid to try anything new. They yes. grow up and they eat only this, and you yes. come to them and say, "Try this," and they're like, "But oh, Michelle, no, Michelle, no. I think of look at Bahamians don't like change." People don't, don't like, like change, change. you know. Like no, people don't like change. I could think clearly about the fact that we were under one government for 25 years. We had what? never changed a government for 25 years here in the Bahamas. Whoa, we were I under the Progressive Liberal Party. The reason why they were the Sorry? first time they were, they were getting independence and they were so used to this yeah. form of government. And they, yeah. I think, they, they, like you said, they don't like change. It was mm -hmm. new. Mm -hmm. being in now, hey, now, they Listen, the, the prime minister do anything, they get them out in a minute. That's the way they operate. The, the way they operate now, they don't like you tomorrow. Tomorrow you're gone. But you're it gone. used to be that they were very like loyal. That. Yeah, like they were very that. loyal. Mm -hmm. Loyalty and so. I'm Twenty-five thinking, years, Mister Pinlin was there. Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years. One. That almost sounds like a dictatorship. You know what I mean? It wasn't. It was not. It wasn't. They yeah, loved it was him. good. It wasn't dictator. Okay, good. Yeah, so, you they know, love that man. Usually countries that have dictatorship government, they keep their leaders long like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They appreciated that he brought us to independence. They appreciated That's that. Well, there were so many things they loved about him, you know. See? Go on, Michelle. Talk about your next dish. So, Hold I'm on. Doing... Let's see what's going on here. Hold on. All right, let me Hold stop here. Go ahead. Whoop. I'm good. My potatoes are not ready. Keep going. Keep going. All right, all right, all right. Let me get a little. I'm starting now with water because I did, you know, I did before. I'm just showing you that oil is going to get, it's expensive. And you yep. want to save oil yep. is actually that extra calories. We don't need it. Yep. We really don't need it. So you can start it with water Ooh, that or amazing. broth, vegetable broth. And so to yep. saute with water, all you do is add your water to your onions and your garlic, and you literally just cook it down. Cook, you just cook it down until it's translucent, just like how you would add oil. So if you're trying mm -hmm. to lose weight, you can avoid that extra calorie because one tablespoon of oil is like 120 calories, and it's fat. There's no fiber. Um, it sometimes can be a little irritating on the lining of the, the, the gut. So, yep. especially if you fry, no frying, that's what causes a lot of inflammation uh, on the gut. So, here you go, just saute with water. Okay? So, somehow, I'm adding some tomatoes to it. Tomatoes are good. They have lycopene. They're good for your eyesight. They're good for your skin. 
and they're especially your eyes get your tomato in there good for men for prostate cancer to prevent prostate cancer or treat tomatoes are good cooked tomatoes even better than raw so i'm cooking my tomatoes now and onion garlic tomato and i'm adding my black beans and only what well, this looks like even like in a half a cup or a cup not a lot no more black beans for a left i need a little bit more black beans. how many yeah. how many did you do i'm how adding many? more i need more i need more that's too much onion. No, i'm saying how I'm many you did one pound we did one pound and i'm still having so many beans i still my name. I that's what i'm pound. saying i one did one pound. one pound and i have yeah. a ton of look look how much black beans left exactly now i i took my own and i just shared it in three because i i wanted to make sure that nobody left the table hungry i know this is a lot of black beans <laughs> okay so i'm 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 now turning my burgers over guys from one pound this is crazy one pound well i took my own i shared it in three i shared it in three um because i was making sure that it had enough burgers for the children for school hello yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right we got 15 burgers oats is cheap yeah don't tell me don't tell me that it's expensive and it's not doable because i did it today i'm showing you i am doing it okay come on let's do this people so I'm just adding some, you can add dry sea, oregano if you want, Italian seasoning, some cumin, because I'm making burrito. So I'm adding oregano, a little cumin. A little cumin. Let me get a spoon. I don't like cumin that much, honestly. I like a little. I don't like it strong. I don't go. I don't go crazy with cumin. That's it. So this is for my burrito. No, cumin's very strong. Very cumin's strong. Very strong. I don't like it. I don't know why. I'm not a, It's very good for you though. But a little kind. I of know, but it's strong. It's strong. <laughs> I like Carlton. Carlton, I must meet you one day. He says, Oh, you call my name. Gordon, broad beans. Broad beans? Yeah, broad beans are butter beans. Same thing. Now, somebody asked a question earlier. We don't want to miss any question. Is cow beans black eye beans? Cow peas, same family as black eye peas. Same, same family. family. There you same go. Same family. All right. All cow peas. They're different. Our field peas. They're all different varieties but they're all the same family we have that in jamaica so there add a little salt and now that's it we're yes. just gonna let that cook and then sorry that's it we're almost finished um, we're on our third yeah i'm on my second my third will be ready in two minutes literally i was just gonna do the comments um carlton said people don't want to let them go bad eating habits yeah you're right and the powder season them work will with the oil as the pumpkin yeah it's the truth you don't need the oil you don't you don't need the oil yeah, sashin so says I true michelle sashin so says broad beans as well michelle we grow those it's too oh she said you grow the broad beans too michelle broad beans yeah mm -hmm. yeah I say, pro and um, Carlton said the prostate run by zinc. And of course, if you are not getting it, then you're going to have a prostate issue. Yeah. Um, awesome. And he says he cooks ackee without all the olive, with all, yeah, we all don't the oil, and give people. I'm yeah, to you don't know. Awesome. All you do is you stir fry with water. You stir fry with water. Yeah. All right, let me check, see if my potatoes are done. Yep, they are. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Awesome. So. It took a while. Why did they take so long? The potato. I didn't have nothing oh, in here. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. Good. I'm, I'm I just still let it go a little longer. I'll add my garbanzo beans now. Yeah. I should have put them in. I actually should have stir fried them with the um. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. They should have gone in with the turmeric and what have yous, you know. 
It would make him taste even better. That's okay. We're not going to worry about it. So it's three meals from one bag of beans. And when you That's try amazing. them, will you let us know? Will you let us know when you try them? And I still have beans the... left over, Marlene. Can you imagine that? I have. I, I should have. I actually could have. Because this, this, this um meal I have here with the, the curry, this is enough for like eight people, six people, at least six. Because I right. added two and a half potatoes. I added two potatoes. All right. So you have more than enough from the bag of beans. More than enough. That's beautiful. More than enough. That's so nice. That's so nice. All right. Okay, you want me to go on to the third recipe while this is go picking ahead, down? Marley, because all I'm going to do is um, the, wrap the burrito when I'm done. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of letting it cook, the beans cook. So we're good. Okay. We're good. So you go ahead on the third. because we're Okay, be third so my part. third recipe is easy. It is absolutely my favorite. Um, lots of people's favorite. I take this every anytime they invite me to speak at a, a program. This is what I take with me, and I literally um, take it and give it to them with crackers. And most times, people are like, "No way! It can't be beans." So we're making right now. I took the masher and I mashed them. You saw me mashing. I just took the masher and I mashed them. Or you can use a fork if you don't have one. Just smash them. Or you can use a food processor. I just didn't feel like taking the food processor out today. And in this, I'm going to add some kelp seasoning. If you don't have kelp, don't fret. You don't have to fret about it, all right? I'm adding some onions. I did cut them up pretty small. <laughs> listen, listen. I wasn't going to say what I was about to say. But I am definitely going to find a sale for those burgers, Carlton. Right? You're going to buy a what, Marlene? I'm going to find a sale for the burgers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but on a serious note, so I have my um, onions in here, my garbanzos in here. I got some lemon or lime. Whichever one you have will work. All right. Whichever one you have will work. Where did you guys go, Michelle? Where did you guys go? Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to just squeeze that in there. Oh, yes. Is this camera died? Dead? Okay, the camera oh, died. It's back. Oh, it's, back. it's back. Okay, so I'm going to cut the other ones that want it to be... I like lime and lemon in my... In my um... I should have been soaking this because it's so super hard. Let that soak while I add. Now, this is the only product today that can be a little costly. In the Bahamas, it's eight dollars and some cents. Oh, what, Marlene? Um, huh? What's that? So this is this is a vegan mayonnaise by oh, mayo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can use veggies. I have them both. The other ones there. Or you can make your own. Make your own, eh? Tofu, two three dollars, and you can make your own, and it's healthier yeah. for you. So I'm gonna Marlene. add some of that. Yes, go ahead. Carlton said that we need to come live every day and join it. Oh, really? And then who's gonna write our recipes and upload our stuff? I know and keep our website. I'd going. love to do more. I'd love to do more lives. I think it's, I I don't like the editing. To be honest, I hate editing. Yeah. So I'm I much prefer the lives, Carlton. You're right. Me too. I, I love it. Love Thank lives. you so much. Thank you for your kind Carlton. words. It's beautiful. Carlton, we do four lives a week. We do I'm adding some kelp. Yeah. I'm adding some kelp. Oh, nice. That's beautiful. Thank you, Carlton. Thank you so much. So I'm adding about a teaspoon of this. This is where the fishy taste comes from, but you don't have to have it. Like I said, you add sufficient lime and salt or lemon and salt with a dash of, um, that's my salt and my uh, Italian seasoning. And of course, you got to put my sidekick in there, some Kian, or you can use your, your native peppers, whichever one you want. Once you put enough of the lemon or lime in there, guess what? You really, really, really don't. You don't need, um, what's it called? The kelp like that, okay? Or you can use sea, sea, seaweed, sea, sea. Um, I nori. The nori sheets. You can nori. use the nori sheets, right. This year I've been in my fridge too long. <laughs> What's that? My, 
my limes. They're so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but they my cost two dollars for one. I mean, I two, I, two for like a dollar something in the store. dollar, like fifty cents for one lime. Same I here, want you have this little device. You can squeeze it. You get all you want out of there. So okay, good stuff. Marley, you don't have lime tree. Um, no, <laughs> no. I blame it on my yeah, no. <laughs> I no, I don't. I don't have any. We we probably have at the other yard. Yeah, we may have something right. similar. It may be a sour orange. But it won't be. A sour, I have sour orange. I love it. So look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Don't it look oh, great? Well, so nice. that's our salad. Look at so that. then the children can take this for lunch. Lunch. Right? They can take I it for lunch. It. Or you can have this with a pasta. You can have it with bread. You can make a nice juicy burger out of it. You know. And just season to taste. It's season to taste. Um, this really, to be honest, is like one of my favorites. Gabonzo beans are definitely my favorite food. Nice. Yum. Ah. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I love it. So let's go back to our curry. I have all kind of food cooking here today. <laughs> who's, coming, who's coming for lunch? Who's coming for lunch? Who's coming for lunch? I don't know. Coming for lunch? I call Celine, my daughter. So I'm going to add my coconut milk now. Just a little. Why not add all of it? And I'm going to add some tomato sauce. Just a little tomato sauce. Awesome. And I stir. Can you see that? Now, I didn't add any salt in here yet. I normally let everything cook down and then I add my salt. But I'm sure the flavors are on point. Kelp full of vitamin B12. Oh, really? Or you can use bladder rack. Yes, bladder rack is awesome. Bladder too. rack is good too. Yeah. So kelp is filled with, oh boy. Kelp is filled with vitamin B12. Awesome. We need that, sweetie. You know, this vegetarian diet, you need to make sure that you're getting all of your nutrients and the vitamin B12 is definitely, definitely one that we have to be certain to get. Carlton says, Marlene, you look like one of the church sisters, and she love health, like you, and her hair look the same way. Really? What is her name? <laughs> What's her name, Carlton? <laughs> What's her name, Carlton? What's her name? Awesome. And I put my little... And you don't have to use cayenne and everything. You really don't. Okay? But yeah, don't. there we go. You but don't. We you shouldn't. All right. And if you want, you can put some brags in there if you wanted to. But I just used the salt and um, a little cayenne. And I'm going to turn my stove down. And I don't have to thicken. I can just mash a potato or two. And that's all that I need for thickening my, my, my um, curry. And I can serve this with rice. I'm frozen. I'm nice. frozen. I'm frozen. Yeah, Who's I can serve it with rice. Oh. I was just now. Uh oh. I would love I would eat everything right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh wow. I need to get um Hassett. Sherry says I need to get your website to get the recipes. I need to try these. You can go to it's running the underneath the screen. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it says healthiersteps.com or something better. Michelle is healthier steps. Michelle's been doing this for 10 years. I've been teaching Eleven. vegetarian cooking for 23 years. Um, 11. 11 years for Michelle in her website. website. Right. But I've been teaching vegetarian cooking for 23 years. Um, I think Michelle likewise has been um, yeah. teaching. Yeah. When I, when I first came to understand this whole thing, I instantly lost the weight I needed to lose. And everybody wanted to know yeah. what I was doing. So I, I opened up my living room. And I started teaching vegetarian cooking. And um, for those of us who were really interested in starting a ministry or starting a business, it was one that I really enjoyed. It was profitable, but it became a lot of work. Now I just cook enough for four persons the most. It's just me now. And it's easy yeah. just to do what I'm doing. And I love it. I love doing what I do. Love it. Yeah. Carlton says he did everything. He said something else. Carlton? He said... <laughs> <laughs> and when me cook me no taste pot. Ooh, you hear me, you, you hear don't me, you taste me. your pot? It's it's lunchtime for me though. Excuse what me. What are you just eating now, Carlton? 
Yeah, he says when he took it, that's good that you don't have to taste though. That means yeah. that you he said God gave him that gift. Oh, oh man, smell. That's awesome. That's awesome. Then he says cayenne pepper makes everything taste better. It does. It does. But we really should only use it for medical use. We shouldn't be using it yeah, every day every like day. that. Because I, and the crazy thing, Carlton, I can tell you an awful thing. Guess what? That's the 90,000 heat units that I have there in that bottle. Oh, yeah. Me too. I yeah, have the 90,000. Really which means that, Ms. It's Barnes, I know Ms. Barnes. Yeah, which means that, um, um, which means simply that when we are using it for medicinal purposes, it doesn't have the full effect. It's not good. Right. It's not right. good. Yeah. No. Uh, Barnes. Okay. I know some Barnes. I went to school in, in Jamaica. All right, Michelle, take it away. I'm going to continue tasting because okay. it's lunchtime. Jeez. Let me get my salad in the fridge. I'm going on now again. <laughs> get out. <laughs> you, you're in the way. I'm going on. I'm going to show the burrito now. Hey, we've been seeing the, the frying of it. Eh? We've been seeing you cook it in the skillet. All right. Oh, so you've been seeing it. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I want to going... taste this. So, Go okay, ahead. I want to show you guys this. I'm using a gluten-free um, wrap for this, for my burrito. And this one is the bee-free, quinoa and chia. You can make your own. That's the only thing that will be expensive. You can make your own, though. You don't have to. You can make your own. It's easy to make. The burrito? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's easy to make. You can literally just blend chia seeds. And blend it with a quinoa mm -hmm. and water and salt. And then make your own um, wraps. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just showing you. <laughs> it's flexible. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad. Let's roll it. Because this is gluten-free, I'm just going to, because it might be harder to roll than regular flour one. So I'm kind of just... Plot making choice flyable. Oh, my burgers, my burgers, my burgers. All right. <laughs> Walk into your burgers, Marlon. I don't want to burn them. You don't want to burn them. <laughs> I forgot them. I forgot them in the oven. So you, did you make yours today? Make what? Your um wrap. Your no, I bought them burrito. from Blue Free. It's a brand called okay. Blue Free. They're okay. gluten free. Oh, nice. But on my website, I have a chick chickpea wrap. There's a recipe mm -hmm. called chickpea pancakes. That recipe can be used to make wraps. The same yeah, recipe. I, I, if I had my my um waffle iron, I would have made them some chickpea waffles. But I don't. I loan right. it to my daughter because that's really good too. Just flipping our burgers. They could use a little browning so on with, one side. With this, you can use um. There's a recipe on my website for like vegan sour cream. There's their recipe on my website for vegan cheese sauce. You can add this, add them to this burrito. You understand if you want, <clears throat> you can add the vegan cheese. You can mm -hmm. add sour cream. But the recipe is on my website, healthiersteps.com for those. So I'm just giving you an idea how I do it. And very nice. These are good also. The children can take these to the school. Mm -hmm. Or you mm -hmm. can just have a night burrito night where you just everybody makes wraps and eat them with black bean burritos. And see delicious. Yeah, that's really good. Oh yeah. Yeah. I that's love good. these. You can it's very nice. Very very easy nice to make. But very nutritious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Carlton, just tell I us you don't it. taste, you know. Not taste. I taste it right food. now. It's lunchtime now. I'm looking for a plate so I can put a salad and have some of this garbanzo bean salad. And look here. We made three recipes and everything tastes different. Everything tastes different. But you can also, Michelle, have you ever done the recipe that calls for... The black beans to make a dessert. You can make a cake or a brownie out of it. I have never put it in my brownie, but we can put it mm -hmm. in our carrot brownie. Yeah, and it, it tastes really. A, you can make hummus uh, with it. Black bean, a sweet version yep. of. Yep. 
carob almost and make it sweet with black beans too. So yesterday, hola, that's a narrow, hi narrow, mm, nice. Now we just took our beans. That's my niece. Mm. Oh, you want to know how to make bread? Yeah, we just took our beans and we did three different recipes. I did one bag of beans, it's $30 budget. That's all I had. And I made enough food for a family of four for three days. Ta da! All right. So we have burgers, enough for three days, <laughs> literally. We have a salad and we have a curry gabanzo. All so, right. Carlton said, Carlton said, I need some tomatoes on my salad. My salad, no, I'm no tomato. Nice. Carlton said, Me want to know how to make bread. All right. We want to know how to make bread. All okay, right. no problem. All right. We will do it. That's not a problem. I may have the, I think it's on, go to something better today on my YouTube channel. There's bread there. Yeah, I just did a bread. I just did a focaccia bread and I did a spelt bread recipe. I mean, I spit over that food because I may want to share with somebody. I just did it um, in a class and I showed you how to. I think I did. I didn't think I, Michelle? I think it's gluten free, yeah. Marlene, though. No, I didn't do the gluten free. I did the spelt and I, I did the. Gluten -free. He's gluten free. Oh, he's gluten free. Oh, that's Michelle, sweetie. Hello. I do have one, but I. Now I say it's looks I yummy. mostly like <laughs> flatbreads. I don't know why, but I'll I we can make we can do our kind of stuff for you. I mostly like I don't know why I just like flatbreads. That bread bread. Uh, the black bread. green brownies are literally so good. They're very good. I have regular carob brownies mm -hmm. on my side. The carob brownies, but I, I mm -hmm. didn't put no black beans in it. Those are yeah, good. This one, this one called um, black beans. Nice. It was just a variation, you know? Nice. nice. And it's more mm -hmm. healthy. You're adding more yeah. nutrients. Exactly. So good. Exactly. Well, we went over our time just a little, but you hung in there with us. You and we are so there. happy that you did. We thank you for joining us today on this beautiful journey. Three meals. Michelle's plating them. She has helped there. I can't. I'm not plating nothing. All I have plated is my. <laughs> All I have plated is my salad. I'm just real. I'm not plating nothing. Oh, yeah. my burgers are not finished. My burgers are not finished. Okay. Let okay. me see. Burgers. Hold on. Let me just show you guys the finish. That looks really good. Look at that. That looks amazing. It's so good. Everything is just so good. Let me tell you why I'm not plating it because it's extra dishes for me to wash up my you know, so. <laughs> Yeah. Carlton says, that's beautiful, Michelle. And it if you don't know how to combine the herbs, then it will mess up the food <laughs> that every herb can use in every yeah. food. And that's why some people's natural food don't taste good. That's true. That's, that's true. very true. Because you could put, taste. like, you could, it could be very, like overpowering. Okay. Oh my goodness. It, yeah. You are right. I need to put some tomatoes on this so you can see the beauty of my salad. Nice. Um, let me grab nice. some, okay? Let me do that. Seeing as we're still talking. It was actually fun, Marley. Today was actually fun. Doing this was actually fun. I yes, enjoyed every it was, minute of it. It was a beautiful journey. Yeah, just don't do it. Yeah. Because more than like, just don't do it next week. Did you hear that, Carlton? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's <laughs> low blow. Ooh, oh, no, just just next week. Well, you know, it's I'm a teasing. Lot of I'm teasing. But, yeah, I'm teasing. We already washed up already. You know. Y'all washed yeah. up over. Okay, mm -hmm. who's coming that's in my the kitchen? Camera was overhead. <laughs> yeah, I'm washing. I'm washing while you're doing. I was washing. Yeah, yeah but too. I still got a lot of dishes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a lot funny. of dishes, and these I'm people is coming too. asking for food, I'm and they didn't want volunteer to wash my dishes. <laughs> I said, you see, Gene wants to come. You hear what he said? Gene will come. He'll, come on, boy. Get on that flight and come on over to the Bahamas. <laughs> come on, here. So I'm going to put some avocado with my salad. Mm. Mm. This is really good. Amazing. Okay, put some mm -hmm. avocado. And then I'll wash my tomato and I'll do some tomato. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. Boy. I got plenty of dishes. And I, I'm the kind of person, Carlton. <laughs> 
and and everybody i don't really normally i just kind of i prefer to not eat first i prefer to wash my dishes and then eat that's mm. that's who i am yeah yeah we have our tomato because i want it to be pretty carlton wants want us to come back tomorrow like <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey. hmm. Marlene, yes, the, the spinach tastes excellent uh. in this recipe. Really? Excellent. I'm not exaggerating. I mean, I'm not. Really? No slimy. Not slimy? At all. That was my pretty I'm little plate. It. This spinach tastes so good. No. Mm. This is huge. This is mm. huge. This is huge. You can look at it. There's nothing slimy about it. Mmm. And tastes so good. He said he's coming to wash dishes. He likes to wash dishes. Golden too? He said... <laughs> Thank you, Carlton. You know, I could virtually put you here at the sink and you can wash them for me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We love to wash plates, mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. Well, mm. today's journey was a nice one. It's a beanie one. A beanie and <laughs> <laughs> Marty, you're cracking me up. <laughs> Marty, a Marty, beanie what one. Is... All those words. A beanie. I don't one. know. I don't know. Let me get. Let me show you what all I made. I'm going. Your, your camera's right. gone, Michelle. Oh, I'm gone because maybe we're dead. Our camera is dead. <laughs> Oh Lord! So look at all I got. Not gonna get to, no, Jean. Look at this. Thirty dollars. Oh, we gotta switch the camera. Can we switch it over? Thirty dollars. Look at that. Switch that camera. Oh wow! So I got I got fifteen burgers. Mm -hmm. I got enough curry, gabonzo, and potato for a family of six. Even though I was just aiming for four, I got wow. enough salad for about six people. Tell me, you can't do it. Come on. Let's oh, do this. this camera is, is so light. The cup, whoa, it's too white. You got that? Wow. So let's do it, people. The time is now. <laughs> Don't wait until you get sick to make changes. Let's make those changes now. Okay. You can it. <laughs> uh, uh. He says, he said, I will cut the I'll cut the yard too. Oh man, that's awesome. The yard needs to cut right now. Hallelujah. Did he say that? <laughs> Those burgers yeah. really look classic. Yeah, they look they're they're really good. They're perfect rounds. We use the um what we use? The what did we use? We use the um ball star cover for them. We can see you. Mm. We can't stay long. Jean is literally holding the camera. Okay, we're done. Let me get that music. No, going. No, no, no. Done, done, done. We have to say goodbye. No, we be done. We done. He said he's good. Bali, he said he's good. All right, so next week we're not we trying this. It's tomorrow not a... huh? on the melt. Tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. for exercise on the melt. Join us, guys. Come on. Join us. My phone number, if you'd like to register, you can go to my Facebook page and message me inbox. Or let me add my phone number here right quick. Let me create a um, banner. So if you'd like to be a part of the melt, if you'd like, the melt is not only for weight loss, remember that? It is also for learning about wellness, learning how to re reduce the blood pressure, get those numbers under control. So there goes the number if you'd like to WhatsApp me today to register for the melt. It's $40 for the month or three months at $100, $99.99. Okay? That's it, guys. We enjoyed the journey with you guys. We thank you so much for being here. We thank you so much for joining us. Um, from my home to yours, I'm Marlene McKinney, and I live where you vacation. Beautiful Bahamas. And I'm Michelle Blackwood. I also live where you vacation. Beautiful Florida. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if there are any comments. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Mm -hmm.